What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to some more Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. The last episode, we essentially finished the game with 82 golden specials, even though it was 100. But there's two more things left to do before we go and take on the. Pat, Pat, Patrick? Are, are you okay? Are you mad at me, buddy? What, what's wrong? Oh, SpongeBob, you found some. Anyway, this is what Patrick says when you give him socks. Home, safe where they belong. Oh. There's a golden back scratcher. That's a, it's called a turkey baster. Now it's a back scratch. Oh, oh, Patrick, oh, come on. Spatula. Yeah. Whoa, the entire game just flips I don't out. Speak Italian. Okay. He's doing it again. What are you? Is he glitched? I think he's glitched. Weird. I wonder if it has something to do because I performed a cheat just to test oh, it. And I wonder if the characters are mad at me for trying a cheat. I'll, sh I'll talk to you guys more about that cheat later. Um, I actually did not know there were cheats in this game when I was looking up ways to grind for what? shiny objects. I found that there's actually cheats to this game, which shocked me. I had no clue. And I didn't, I wasn't even sure if, if I believed it. So I tried it and show sure enough, after like three or four tries, it actually worked. Um, I cannot really demonstrate this cheat at the very moment. And I wonder if that's why he's turning away from me. I wonder if the characters are mad at me now that I cheated technically. Uh, I hope that doesn't like affect anything else. I was going to do a showcase of the cheats in a bonus episode though. Hmm. Actually, I probably still will do that. I haven't done bonus episodes in forever. I'm hoping that's just a glitch though that he's turning the wrong way. Cause if all the characters start not facing me because I freaking try to cheat, I'm gonna be angry. Okay, give me all the freaking Italian. And one more and we will have Oh, you know what? We we did it the long way too. If you press R then just B instead of A to skip through the text, it quits. There we go, that's a bit quicker. And there we go! We have completely traded all the socks in the game. From Golden Spatchos, they have 90. Now, if I could only find my other sock. <laughs> it's on your head, remember? What? Well, of course. Now, where did I put it? it it's on your head. Let's go see if the other characters turn away from me. Now, I'm gonna be sad if the characters are actually mad at me. It's like, really? 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 Are you for realsies? At least the Tiki's don't turn away from me. Mr. Krabs? They are! I want to save and quit and see if that fixes it, because this is weirding me out. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. Patrick, so far, so good. He's still turning away! That's gotta be it! It's because I put in a cheat code. That's crazy and actually really creepy in a way. Wow, that's actually a cool way to implement... Or implement... Um... For you not to cheat, really. Huh. Unless I just really messed something up. The only thing I can think of is that it's because I put in a cheat. It wasn't a big cheat code. It was, I just, to, just to try it out, I put in the thousand shiny object cheat code. Worked. <laughs> Mr. Krabs. Look at him, his eyeballs. Oh, he looks, look how weird he, it just looks like the front of Mr. Krabs, but he doesn't have any, like, eye, eyeballs, like irises or pupils or whatever. Yeah, I guess they'd be called pupils. Anyways, with the crap, with the crab. Actually, I'll just talk so, to him. Do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? Yes, we do. And that's to trade 3,000 shiny objects. That's See, this is where I grinded. 99,999 shiny objects is the maximum in the game. You can't get any more than that. And when you do collect them, it just doesn't add to the counter. Um, every time we talk to him, he actually boosts so, the price. Do you want to trade shiny objects? So now it's 3,500. And then next should be 4,000. Look, look at his freaking face. <laughs> I should probably just speed through all this, to be honest. But, eh, whatever. So oh, yeah, that was 4,000. I didn't really show that one, but you, you guys get the gist of it. It does go up in more bigger increments. The total amount of shiny objects you need to get all the golden so spatulas for Mr. Krabs is, oddly enough, 39,500. I don't freaking know. So that's why you, I need around 80,000 uh, shiny objects to finish it out. I'll shiny or uh, star bits again. Uh, because a the movie theater is 40,000 and Mr. Krabs is 39,500. So essentially, 79,500 shiny objects to finish it out. I just, 
I really just wanted to see the maximum if 99,999 was the maximum shiny object count. Because if it wasn't, I was just going to leave this game on all night. The method I used to get shiny objects, which I'll also be showing. I didn't use the method I was sh I showed you guys in the dream world. Uh, well, I found an automated so approach that I found via YouTube. Mm -hmm. One oh no, that's it! That's it, we've collected all the shiny objects. I'm glad the characters at least turned back towards you when you talked to them. Because if, if they didn't, then that, that, that would actually that would not be the good. The only good robot is the one that's given me them shiny objects. So, all of them then. Okay! Uh, let's go talk to Plankton one more time. For golden spatula, SpongeBob. I'm sure that my robots out there have some. <laughs> uh, no, actually. Well, actually, hey, there are two more. Call but... them your robots. <gasps> Evil! I, uh... And I saw a plaque on the butt of one of the robots that said, Property of Plankton. Double well, evil! Maybe, but I, uh... And I found this order form for robot parts with your signature on it. SpongeBob's face Can is scary I have sometimes. Back? I need it for my tax write-off. Lol. I think tax you've been jokes. pulling my leg this whole time. Look at Patch or not Patrick's. Look at look at Plankton's ears. Like in the 2D SpongeBob show where you can't see, like they just look like straight lines, but then one that actually circles in this, like look at that. That looks so weird, doesn't it? Well duh. I'll bet you made all these robots. And after I get inside the chum bucket and figure out how to stop them, oh. I'm gonna tell everyone. Fine. Don't tell! tell Don't be a tattletale. tattletale! I'm still smarter than all of you! Uh, not really sad, he's sad, he's pretty freaking smart. Just saying, bruh. Just saying, bruh. There we go. Alright, let's go collect some more. Alright, let's go in here, and... I guess we'll be starting off the finale. It's kind of weird that we start off the finale, we're like, so... Not really cheaply, but... You know, so, like... Mellow, I guess? And, uh, I want to destroy those, but... It's not worth it. Alright. Oh. Okay, this says the exact same thing it did before, so we're not gonna worry about it. Let's open this level up! Alright, guys, let's enter the finale of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. I am actually terrified of this. Let's start it. The anticipation is killing me! What?! You fought Sandy? Look at that guy. That big square head and then Patrick. Short shorts? That's the most hideous thing I've ever me. seen! Wait, that hideous thing looks like me! I always knew SpongeBob would be the death of me! Jump in, jelly beans! A robot SpongeBob! There's definitely something funny going on here. And I don't mean you. Something else funny. Oh! <gasps> Plankton! You're behind all this, aren't you? Yes, yes, it was me all the time! Behold, the Duplicatotron. I registered the name, so don't even think you're ripping me off. With this, I can make a robot copy of anyone. I was going to make an army of loyal robots that would obey my every command. But they're running amok! I, uh, I forgot to set the switch to obey Plankton. Ugh. But now that Daddy's what a dummy. I can fix that! No! No, he improvised! Oh, it should be working! Uh, maybe because of the sticker? What? They're obeying me! I knew I shouldn't have made a copy of myself, but I'm just so cute! You've interfered with my plans for the last time! SpongeBob, meet SpongeBob! Hi, how do you do? Allow me to introduce my friends, Patrick, Sandy. Enough. Why is Squidward here? And here we okay. are. Whoa. Event, a okay. For us oh no, I missed. I guess well, I might as well come down here. Oh! There's a whoa! There's a there's an endless pit there. I know that. Oh my god. Okay. Oh fight. really? I, I was going to say, I'm probably not going to take any damage here. That way. This is the final boss! It comes in two sections. Looks like the can I do this? Ugh. No oh, you can do that! That's cool! Ah! Well, I want to pick my nose for a second. I, I, I mean, Looks um, like floss my teeth. Ah! Okay. Well, what you're supposed to do is just wait for him to karate chop, and then use your cruise bubble, and hit it. And after that happens... Plankton will start shooting his lasers, his laser beams, 
And oh, pr oh, oh! You don't want to get hit, otherwise it restarts this thing. Oh God! But once Plankton actually takes a break from shooting, that's when you fire at him. Oh God! The thing is, he always moves around like that. See what I mean? Oh God! I should not be taking damage. This is not a hard. This is not a hard. Really? Are you serious? The best way is to get. Get into a pattern, and then he's pretty easy to avoid at that point. Come on, seriously? He keeps moving! How am I supposed to hit him when he keeps moving? Dude, let's grab all this underwear while we're here. As long as he keeps moving, he shouldn't be able to hit you when you're on the floor, at least. Oh, take you. Is that it? Oh, there was one more. Alright, I'm already at very limited health. This should not be giving me trouble at all. No, although, let's try something else. Because if you jump up here, he doesn't attack you right away. Uh, there we go. Okay, you hit him and it knocks him out. And then SpongeBob comes back. Oh, God. Really? Actually, I forgot about that. That laugh. Really? I'm getting really ahead of him. This is, oh, this is not bold well at all, actually. This does not bode well at all. Yep, there we go. Okay, you can also hit the hit his hands with um uh, uh, uh cruise bubbles as well. I find I I just wanted to try the bubble pound since I saw some. I watched a lot to play it last night, and it's the guy that did it actually got crown pounded his hands. I want to try that. It's cool. And yeah, every time you take on one of his crystals, his, his attacks get more frantic and furious. Um, there we go. Oh god, oh, nope, okay. Really? Okay, so... What was I gonna say? Crap, ah, this always happens. I start to say something and then I lose track. I get distracted. Really? I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die. Oh yeah, every time, yeah. Yeah, you don't, you don't fight with, um... Sandy or Patrick in this, and then it's sad. Here's his new karate attack, and it sounds crazy. Alright. Alright. Go on. I think most of his attacks are pretty easy to avoid. I mean, I say that after I've been getting hit like 30 times. But yeah, it's not that you don't use Patrick to Sandy. I mean, there's there's three sections, and it would have been. Or three sections of health. There's a green, the yellow, and the red that we're on right now. And you would think that perhaps that, you know, with each section, they'd make us use Sandy and Patrick. For one last time, but nope, they're just like, haha, no way, that'd be way too cool. Oh god, whoa, I almost, I almost did the cruise bubble right there. That would have been bad. Alright. Indeed it is, alright. Oh god, I almost forgot about that. Okay, and now I should do three karate, karate. Whoa, oh jeeva. Oh, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Two more, two more, two more, two more. Oh, one more after this. Let's see what it hits. Uh, if you actually hurt. Oh, well, if you hurry, you can hit Plankton before he hits you. But now I'm gonna start over. So, ah, uh, ha, ha. Be right back. Okay, this is how you can hit his hat. You can hit his. Uh, well then. You can hit the opposite hand that he's not using, and this is, I think this is the way you're probably supposed to do this. I'm assuming. <coughs> okay! I'm back. So the best way to avoid this karate is jump back and forth. I don't think you have enough time to make it to the next one. I'm gonna try right now, just for LOL's sake. Ah. Ooh, you can, but it's a lot more stressful. So I would suggest just going back and forth. <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh god! Oh. And it is a set time that um, he had. Like <coughs> the okay, there we go. It is a very set time that he does the karate chops. So if you mess up the jumping, then you're pretty much screwed. Hello, Plankton. You must die. Thank you. But wow, there's just no time to be looking underneath your freak. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Not again. Oh god. Ugh. All right. Well, that, that's that's okay. That's okay. Well, he says at the beginning of the round. So the reason I, I got the feeling that I was supposed to hit or uh, use the cruise bubble right there, but nope. I'm just stupid. Alright, and back. Uh, one more time, two more times. I think maybe one more time now. Nope. Alright. 
One, two, three, four, and then that. And hey, let's hit his freaking little nose. <laughs> and everything disappeared. That's a 99th golden spatula. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. In the next episode, we'll take on the final boss. We were supposed to get married next week. Did he say married? I'll repair you, baby. Oh, I'm shrieking! No oh, I'm also shrieking! The robot is getting bigger! SpongeBob, he just flew into your head! Well, then I'm going to follow him into my oh, head. Oh, crap. I mean, into my robot version's head, which is like my head, but bigger and more metallic. Will you go already? Here hey, the abase sticker's gone. Plankton. This is just getting too weird for me.